All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, this is a continuation of the Cartographer's Expedition Redux. And uh, the last time we left off in episode one, I had just built this shelter right here. But um, let's see where we were as far as the expedition goes. So a lot of these things I just don't have the blueprints for. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, this um, blueprint machine here. And see if what blueprints I can get right now. So I can get the teleporter. So I'll go ahead and make one of those. And maybe that will give me some other items that I could use. Let's go ahead and do that. I guess I'll just make this right here. I can't see. I'll get lights in here <laughs> soon. Um, but just having this should give me. There we go. So did I get anything for that? Um, power generation blueprints and survey device plans. Good. So survey device can allow me to make the power, which is one of the milestones I have to reach. And that's pretty nice. And that's pretty nice. So yeah, so this gave me a lot of the blueprints I needed. So that was a good decision. All right, so let's see what I can do now. We can make the visor for, to look for power. So let's go ahead and make the visor. Quantum computer, I could have swore it said I had that blueprint. You know what, let's just go ahead and go here and get that blueprint. Because I'm sure I can get it here. Why was I so sure? I have no idea why my confidence was so high that I could get a quantum computer at this terminal. Unless I can, then I had reason to be confident. I don't even see where that would be even a thing. Okay, what else can I do? Restore ships, life support systems. Okay, I can do that. I don't know where the ship is. <clears throat> I'm probably super far from the ship. Yeah, I'm definitely super far from the ship. I'm six minutes from the ship? Oh my god, yo. S why? Um. So it seems like I can repair some stuff on the ship. Actually, no, I can't. Alright, what else can I do here? Dig up buried items I can do. Excavate ancient bones. All right, so we're off to just dig up stuff and uh, just do some surveying because I think that's what's going to get me the blueprints I need right now. And I do want to get that dude as a pet. There we go. What do we got? Can I interact with it? I will adopt it. All right, so that's another milestone. All right, so go ahead and we'll check that out. See what kind of rewards that gets us on to further our mission here. Oh, we got Gravitino Balls, so that's going to help us create a couple things. Oh, wow. So, Gelatinous Tendril. I've never seen that before. A scrap, of, a scrap of organic matter. It is not clear if this is a life form in its own right or some ejected, severed part of a larger being. Select in the inventory and use E to process it into useful materials. Let's do that. Okay, we got Runaway Mold. All right. I'm thinking that if I dig this stuff up, uh, if I do enough of this, I'll complete another milestone and get more blueprints to get even further. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, optical drill plans. Nice. <laughs> well, I don't really need that, bro. I could use the quantum computers, though, if you want to give them to me. Alright, I'm about to kill my fauna. Is he in there? Yeah, rock covers a lot of stuff. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what do we got for that? Ooh, full inventory. Let's see what else we need to get here. Alright, I'm about to get this waypoint out the way. The water's over here, so I'll be able to discover another creature. Or at least two of them. Alright, so what do we got in this water here? I don't think there'll be any life in... Oh. There we go. So we, there we go. We got that done. What do we get from here? Salvage data. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's keep going. Actually, we need bones. I don't think there's anywhere over here that's got bones. So we're going to have to go to somewhere else. Oh, I didn't need two waypoints. I need only one. All right. Let's see what I get for this. Planetary charts, navigation data, factory override unit. 
Wow, I've never seen that before. What is that? What does that look like? A portable data unit compatible with most planetary fabric planetary fabricator facilities. Once access has been gained to a central control terminal, the override unit can divert the facility's resources towards researching new product recipes. Okay. I'm digging it. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and save right here. It's just been a night of mining and gathering materials and doing a couple of the more monotonous tasks they want you to do for this particular expedition. But we got through a lot, not too much exciting parts, but we'll continue this on the next episode, which should be episode three. All right, till then, you guys take care.